Hey guys, it's Vic. How you doing? I want to talk to you today about chest. Okay. So a lot of folks ask me, what is the best way to get a bigger chest? Now I want to point out that there's a couple of ways to think about your pressing movements. And I may have mentioned this before, but I think I've, I can distill it or make it a little bit more clearer right now. When you push up, right? When you're laying on the bench and you're pushing up, you have to think about your chest moving up. See, a lot of folks are feeling the sensation of their back pressing down. And this downward movement against the bench is what's propelling the weights to go up. And if you've ever seen a, uh, a bench press contest where you see that the guys put on these rubber shirts, right? Their arms are already essentially like this. So when the weight comes down, it's easier to blast it up. But what's really happening is that their back is getting pushed into the bench and their arms are shoving around this way. A lot of us are actually recreating that movement without the shirt and that's why you'll see a lot of people who have some pretty nice shoulders but they're having a problem with the whole tie in here with the chest. Now what I'm going to suggest is instead of thinking about pressing your back into the bench, Think about lifting your chest up or pushing your chest up as the weights are coming up at the same, uh, at the same uh, velocity, right? As you're pushing up, your chest is moving up. You're thinking about your chest moving up. Now, I'm going to also suggest something. Do not push the weights together. Try not to push the weights together because I find that folks who are having trouble making the connection with their chest actually wind up getting halfway there and then they lose it because they think that they have to do this. This movement of coming together is the thing that also is, is disturbing uh, the uh, the form that they have to kind of get their chest moving in the right direction. Just as soon as they get it up there, they collapse just to get the weights together. Forget about that. Push the weights up straight and then back down. And I know that this works uh, because I've done it myself. So uh, I wish you guys all the best. Just keep thinking about uh, different ways to approach the same exercise if you're having a struggle with it. Continue to experiment because that's exactly what I'm doing and what I do with my clients. I sit down with someone, I watch the mechanics of how their body is moving. Moving, I know where it's supposed to be hitting, so I say to myself, how can I position their body uh, in a proper way so that they don't get hurt and at the same time get that weight to drill down into the area that they want to affect? And that's essentially what I'm doing. So uh, I hope this tip helped, guys. Now, this is it. One more time. When you push up, don't bring the weights together. And also, wanted to mention this. When I say keep a slight arch in your back, it's not to hurt your back. The weights are not pushing against your gut so that uh, it's pushing your back and you're straining against it. Not at all. When you put your rear end on the bench and your feet firmly on the floor and your back uh, is on the bench, you automatically get a slight arch in your back anyway. I'm just asking that you bring your shoulder blades together and sort of exaggerate your shoulder blades staying together and that will keep your back out of the exercise, right? So think of it as the reverse of wearing those rubber shirts that the guys wear. So uh, peace, love, and muscles. Visit me at Vix Natural. Say hello on Facebook and all the best to you guys. Take care. Bye.